Okay, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thank, thanks to uh, Chairman, thanks to uh, uh, Museum and Kyoto University uh, for organizing the conference. I'm great to introduce some uh, information of our university uh, collection and uh, uh, research. Uh, so I uh, talk the three parts. First, uh, our university in East China, Hang Hangzhou near Shanghai, is uh, about uh, forty-eight minutes by train. Uh, the this is the Hangzhou map. We have uh, four campus. It's uh, uh, Hangzhou is a famous city in China. Uh, this uh, grand. China is close to the city. Uh, our, and in t 12 years ago, we have a new campus in northwest Hangzhou. Uh, this is the gate, uh, this new campus. So, Habarium uh, and uh, uh, Museum in our university, uh, 12 years ago, we have a plan to con construct the building. Uh, this building is finished. Uh, originally for music, we designed all everything. But late, later, leader changed. <laughs> he president changed. So now it gives another college. Uh, another college moved the building. So I think it, this uh, conference is a good chance. Uh, to push the leader <laughs> uh, back to uh, museum in future. Yes, according to original plan, including plant, animal, uh, insects, soils, logs, arts, um, history and culture, uh, yeah, uh, all uh, social aid, science and uh, Natural science. So, uh, just uh, now, before the conference, I found that we, <laughs> our university, have the digital museum website. Uh, uh, our our college, nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, very interesting. It's, uh, uh, I, I look the website is the only only lit literature literature no natural science and it's some some people design but uh, called China University Digital Museum is a big design and managed by the Zhejiang University so I talked to some college in, from China. Yes, some people know this, but hope uh, change is a push, uh, enlarge everything. So, uh, in our university, have a Habalim, a uh, small Habalim, about uh, 300 meters square, uh, 100,000 specimen, and uh, folks on East China. Uh, so uh, ten years ago, uh, government support uh, give the money support to university and uh, renew the habalim. So we we uh, renew the cab cabinet needs, cabinet uh, and uh, some uh, specimen made digital online work. Uh, this habalim. Built in 1928, Professor Zhong Guangguang taught, taught botany in our university, beginning the collection uh, of specimen, uh, who also built the first uh, university garden in China. Uh, he studied in Japan uh, in 19. Uh, 1910, 
to I forgot the detail. So, so come back to China uh, teaching first the teaching in Beijing University, then move to our university. So this is the uh, primary, primary digital work on um, our spaceman. Uh, so maybe uh, we'll be online in this December. So uh, in Hangzhou have other separate, separate herbarium in Hangzhou Botanic Garden and uh, Zhejiang Natural Museum. We organize uh, in Habalu unit. If you come, you can go uh, to our Habalu and go to other two Habalu. So we together uh, doing some edition and collection folks on East China, including Zhejiang, Anhui, Fujian, Jiangxi, Province. So, uh, in the meantime, a plant DNA bank attached to their specimen uh, had been established in the Havelin since 2000. This is the, uh, now we have uh, about 1,000 species, uh, 10, uh, 5,000 samples. We, so uh, this is the garden. It also is uh, built by the Zhong, Professor Zhong, in 1928. Uh, this is probably um, for the memory of Zhong. This uh, in the garden. We have uh, the garden have uh, over 600 living species. And uh, this is small like small like garden is my research material. Is another um, medicine plant. Uh, is also our lab material in the garden. So uh, also have animal specimen room in our university. Uh, small, about two thousand specimen in the building. This is small, uh, small. So we hope after this conference we push uh, the president give the uh, support on back to the building to all museum uh, department museum involved departments. Uh, I I wish. So second part we talk flora of plant collection in East China. Why uh, people uh, interested in East China? So you look the North Latitude 30. And this area each year have a lot of much more uh, rain from typhoon. Typhoon bring a lot of rain. So in the world, other parts always dry land, except United States, also is a similar typhoon. So this area, China, East China is good for plants living. Uh, other reason, uh, in last uh, glacial maximum, uh, did not impact vegetation of this area. This uh, figure is uh, uh, Harrison, uh, 2001, um, published. And he used based on the um, ancestor pollen state and the computer simulation. And the last uh, glacial maximum in East China and Japan also is uh, temperature <laughs> and forest is good. Forest. Not, this is now. So this area keep the lot of living fossil species and tetry plants, uh, like ginkgo. This in 
near Hangzhou, our university one hour is uh, primitive uh, and pseudo uh, lyrics and uh, alligator kinesis all in this area. A uh, lot of other species. Uh, and the, I don't uh, talk detail this. A lot of other. They also is a living fossil or uh, territory species. So, uh, Timber Mountain is a simple in this area, uh, which now is a reserve, natural reserve. Uh, keep a lot of living fossil species and, uh, and territory plants. If you come to our university, it's easy to visit uh, this mountain. So, in East China, uh, we need to talk little the history, plant collect uh, the history of plant collection. These two person is famous in East China. Uh, Wu Zhong Zhong is I talk and mentioned before. Uh, Hu Xianxu, maybe some toxic uh, taxonomist know the uh, he got PhD in Harvard Hablitum. There are pioneers, there are pioneers of Chinese plant taxonomy and plant collection. Zhong uh, is the first collection of plant specimen in China, uh, first in Beijing University in 1914 and 1918. So he collected a lot of specimen, uh, many species. Most of it now kept in Beijing University Harbor. Uh, later moved to Hang Zhejiang University teaching botany. Uh, continue collection in East China, uh, built the Harbor and the garden. So later some people uh, for memory of uh, Professor Zhong, uh, gave the one species and named the one species, one genus for uh, his used his name for one ge one species, one genus. Uh, who in 1918 took the field trip, first field trip to for collection specimen in Zhejiang, Jiangxi, and Fujian for half a year. Uh, he is the second scholar after Zhong. In 1921 and 222, he edited a lot of uh, books, like list of Zhejiang plants, list of Jiangxi plants. Uh, he come back, come back from Harvard, Abdulitum. And so, um, uh, beginning the taxonomy research. In 1930s, he trained some taxonomists like Qin Renchang, Cai Xitao, and Yu Dejun. It also is later became uh, China uh, taxonomist, famous taxonomist. So, in 1932, he built the first botanic garden in Lushan, Mountain Lushan, Jiangxi Province. Uh, in recent 50 years, many bot botanists and taxonomists uh, continue to correction and edit some books, uh, which record 2007 switches in Kemo Mountain. 4,300 in Zhejiang province, and uh, uh, six, over 600 species in East China. Uh, recent, recent, we, we need to mention Jin Shuang Ma. He came back from uh, Brooklyn Botanic Garden in New York. Uh, now working in Shanghai Chenshan Botanic Garden. Uh, he edited this book. It's uh, uh, very important, the 
outline of taxonomic literature of East Asia high, highland plants. It described the history and the literature of collection in East China. It's um, very important for uh, future research. So, uh, finally, I simply talk uh, my our research in our uh, laboratory. Uh, systematics, phylogeny, and phylogenography, and conservative genetics, and the gram plant genetics of medicine plants. Uh, we, I focus on small cases in the world. Uh, we the the species the the group is fam uh, well know, uh, know each maybe each people uh, this group distributed in the world everywhere where you maybe can find uh, the, this is the distributed map uh, about uh, two hundred species uh, two genus. Uh, Koyama, Japan famous taxonomist, in 1960 published the, uh, uh, one paper, divide six section. Uh, another genus Hitrosmalax. So uh, I beginning study the genus in 1990. Uh, first chromosome based on the collection material doing the, uh, did the chromosome research. Uh, then pollen morphology in the world. In the world, I work in New York Botanic Garden and finish this work. So uh, later continue to do molecular systematics with Dr. Uh, Ken Cameron in New York Botanic Garden. So, uh, we suge uh, suggested suggest uh, Habash Habashus smallax is have, have the common ancestor of uh, Habashus smallax uh, have the originated in Asia to have a spring nose. Northeast wall to North, North America, slow the Berlin land bridge in 2005. So in 2006, we together published the, uh, uh, the molecular tree based on the RTS. We found the base clad Astella. It's a famous uh, common in Europe, European Africa. Asia. So now we just finished the uh, three uh, in a region. Um, suggest uh, the, the tree suggests the phylogeny of small eggs. Old world based group, new world clad, and old world harbor and the same world species and old world. Uh, woody species, four clades. So, uh, according to the molecular tree, don't support the Koyama's section uh, uh, section division. The different different uh, different uh, one section divided different clade. So it's uh, maybe it's not natural, and. Uh, he taught Malax embed, ended, embed, uh, uh, embed in the thread all uh, Smalax. So it's not good genus here. Uh, the, the, our result suggests the family originally from the late Cretaceous, and uh, the three main threads from uh, form between late Yoshin and the early Oligocene when the Earth have great variation. 
this uh, this okay. Uh, so uh, review is left rapid radiation during late origin and mycin uh, in Asia. So uh, this map uh, gives the uh, distributive pattern. The, the Australia species and the African species from Asia. Uh, American species migration to Europe and Asia. And uh, uh, Hawaii species from South America. So in Asia have big radiation, have over two, over 120 species. But we now we know the family original from South America. Then more, this is the migration um, map. So now we propose and revision of the Asia small X, small This is the revision. Uh, Total 20 species. To a total 200 species, Asia 126. Okay, uh, this is the detailed research. I do. Uh, other thing that we we did a lot of biogenography of endangered species and endemic species uh, with Asia botanists, including Isaji Kyoto University and the Tokyo University and the Taiwan and some um, botanists together. This is the Gingo. Uh, we find two glacial refuge. One is the Temu Mountain, one is the West China. And this is the detail. So another crucial Shuma, Korean Shuma is distributed three country. And we found and uh, we without uh, the uh, migration. Uh, this is the SMP. Some, uh, this is the recent work uh, with the Isaji uh, Laboratory. Uh, it's a famous uh, species, Celsi Philum. have two species. One species endemic to Japan, one species both to country. We, we now we found the uh, indicate uh, found the here the CPDNA genotype between the two species. Uh, and, but RTS reviews different genotypes. So uh, maybe we, we, we think maybe have the hybridation, in, intergration hybridation, hybridation. So other species also um, studied both country. Okay, so uh, lots of the medicine plants in China and uh, Japan and Korea. We we also studied the cultivate population is good or not good. Cultivate uh, like this. Uh, cultivated population have a low diversity because use the vegetation reproduction. This wide population, this cultivated. So we we need uh, find a good wide species, wide population for building, for, for breeding, uh, for breeding in future. Uh, so if the good the, uh, the species if good, we can. And research and uh, tissue culture for farmer for uh, um, farm. So future collection and research. I think of for the collection in East China and the most of island, islands in East Asia, hope to form a collection network, particularly in Japan, China, Korea. We call. GSK area. Uh, second, by the further research on more species in this area with 
Japan, Korea, taxonomist. We can review the reason of the climate change and the environment variation and the reviews speciation and the even evolutionary history. So thank you very much.